Hi everybody, I have the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue that I'm going to try today. This is the Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream, and I know there have been several different opinions on this, um, so I am going to give it a try for myself. Actually, today I'm going to do uh, my entire face using Bare Minerals <coughs> with um, um, most of the things I've already used several times, and I know that I like them. The one thing I haven't tried besides this is their All Over Warmth um, dusting powder. So I've been a little intimidated about this, so we'll give it a try and see what happens. The Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream is an SPF of 30 with using titanium dioxide only, which is the only I will use this and zinc oxide for sunscreen, and that is it. I don't do any of the Avo Benz, Benzone, well, Boy, here we go again. Why do I always remember these until I go to film it and say it? Avobenzone, oxybenzone, octanoxinate. There's a whole bunch of them. Home. I don't even know. There's so many of them. Anyways, I stick to the mineral only. <clears throat> no pabas. Para amino. Something. Benzoic. Para amino benzoic acid. I stay far, far away from those. So I'm not really sure. I'm going to read how to apply this because I am not positive whether I should use my fingers. Okay, so it just says apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure. Use a water resistant sunscreen if swimming. Um, it says treat your skin every day with a powerhouse of skin benefits infused with naturally radiant color in one step easy, in one easy step. A multitasking genius, this lightweight, skin-quenching gel cream smooths on effortlessly with just the right amount of coverage. So I am assuming for this to be like a tinted moisturizer with sunscreen. Um, mineral electrolytes help energize skin. Marine botanicals help hydrate and replenish skin. Non-chemical SPF, perfect. Lightweight, sheer to medium coverage. Okay, so... Um, let's get spreading. Here we go. That didn't sound right. All right, here we go. We take the top off. It is a squeezy bottle. I think I am going to, I don't know if I should use a beauty blender. I, you know, decisions. I'm going to use this for the first time. I'll try it. If it doesn't work out so great, the next time I'll do a beauty blender. But okay, so I shook it. Uh, Okay, it's a little thick, it's not going to drop in there, so I'm going to instead just dab it. Oop, I kind of got a lot. Uh-oh. I hate when I do that. Oh, the cap is a little interesting here. It's a little, oh my goodness, there we go. Hmm glides nicely. It feels very wet. <laughs> I should say maybe emollient or hydrating. Okay, so again, um, I have, you know, I, I did my morning routine of cleansing and moisturizing, but I don't have a primer or any foundation or anything like that. <clears throat> no concealer yet. think that um, this is not supposed to be used with a primer because if it is then the moisturizing benefits I mean if you did all of the moisturizing stuff would not get through that I don't believe so <clears throat> I'm really taking this as almost like a a, a tinted moisturizing sunscreen <laughs> kind of exactly what it says it is all right let's see this is quite beautiful. I did not use too much. I actually think I could add a little bit more, but I'm not going to. No, I like the sheer. This is a perfect um, quick and easy summer face. I went right up under my eyes with it. That feels really nice. I, you know, I had seen that this had won, like, I don't know, beauty awards and like different, um, cosmetic pages and stuff like that would have it on their top list and I can see why. 
I mean, we'll see how it wears through the day, but looking at it right now, it's, it feels really nice. It has a nice soft coverage. I am going to now go into my, where did I put it? Okay. I'm going to finish things up for a really quick light summer face. The Glow Together palette. So I'm just going to pop on a little bit of the, uh, oh, you know what I'm going to try first? First, I'm going to use their bronzer. I had received this as a sample when I had placed the order for some primer. And this is the Bare Skin Sheer Sun. And so let's give this a little try, too. Whoa. Let me use what I just spilled everywhere. Ooh, that's dark. It's quite dark. I guess it kind of matches the bottle. I didn't realize. All right, well, I'm not going to use that. I'm running. Oh, that's how it is. I just wasted. All right, I, hmm. Just smooth that right on. Like I said, I haven't tried this stuff either. And given the way that it comes out, I don't know if I probably, I think your finger is the best bet. It's very, very light and liquidy. Uh, almost like a water or like a very light facial oil. Ooh, kind of got a lot on that side. <laughs> Sorry, we'll just keep blending that around for a moment. I like this too. I actually like this being a serum. Once I get, you know, used to the consistency and actually learn to how best to spread it and work with it. It's really, really nice. I think that's very natural. Um, from what I can see without my glasses is a hit for me too. So let me just keep going and see what we come up with. Okay, so back to the glow together. I am not going to use the amber glow because I just did the uh, bare skin. So I don't want to mess with that, but I am going to use the rose matte blush right in the center. Just a quick little toss of this. Because again, for a quick little spring fresh, fresh spring and summer face, you just want a flush of color. I think that's good. I don't want too much because I just want a light little, quick little soft flush of color. Okay, now the highlighter. <clears throat> I'm going in with this highlighter, which is called Gilded Glow. This is really pretty. Just up across my cheekbones. I come down a little bit onto the apple of my cheek with it because I don't carry it too far down my cheekbone. So I just give a light little brushing right there. Then just, I don't like to go on my forehead. I just come down the bridge of my nose right there, not the tip. A little touch of it right there. Oh, this puts a really nice Let me finish my sentence. It puts a really nice, um, gentle, really truly does look like just dewy skin. Oh, why haven't I used this more often? I don't know. Okay, good with that. Then I have the, uh, where did I put that now? The stroke of light under eye brightener. Coming down, I should have probably put this on before the highlighter, but sometimes I go a little too high with the highlighter, <clears throat> so I don't mind if the concealer comes down and covers it up. This is a brightener anyway, so kind of all works together. I'm going to now use a touch of the Mineral Veil because then, then I'm going back over. I don't really know the order to use these, so I'm going to try it this way. I'm going to use the Mineral Veil, and then I'm going to go back over with the Warmth 
powder. And see what happens with that. <gasps> Whoa. Way too much mineral oil. Swirl it, and I'll tap it. Tap a little more off. I just want that much, just very light. Just smoothing everything over. Oh, it spilled so much. I hate when I do that. Alrighty, I popped it open. I have good reason to be scared. I'm so pale, and this is so dark. Let me just put a teeny little... Good. Look at... Uh, look, that. that's all. Alright. I'm going to use this one that I have to be careful with because it's kind of scratchy if you go the wrong way with it. What is with the little fuzz on my face? Okay, I'm, uh, I'm going to swirl it around. Oh boy. What am I getting into here? <clears throat> Alright, ready? Just let's go. I think I should have probably done this <clears throat> and then the mineral veil. I don't know, I just... Wow, that definitely works as giving you like a faux tan. Mm. I definitely had way too much on my brush. Hmm. Kind of feel... It does not... Wow! My goodness, look at the difference between my face and my neck. <laughs> okay, well now we know that this, the all over warmth, is an extremely light hand. Extremely light hand. Okay, it gives nice color, but I got way too much on there. I'm going to go back over it with my mineral veil and hope, hope maybe I can lighten a little bit of this back off. All right, let me give it a little try. I don't know what else to do. I don't want to redo the whole thing, but I, I am going out, and I don't want to look like a little creature from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. This is probably not going to work because it's like a translucent powder, but. Maybe it helped tone it down a little bit. Is that better? <laughs> all right, well, we know. If you're using the All Over Warmth, big, big, fluffy brush, tiny, tiny, tiny little amount of product. All right, I do think that helped a little bit, the mineral veil back over it. Again, part of it could have been a little flush in my face of like, oh, what just happened? I am going to use their Posh Neutrals Gorgeous Rose Gold Palette, the um, Posh Neutral Palette, my little e.l.f. brush, and I'm going to go on with the softest color here called Curtsy. I have used this palette. I love it. All right, just a light. Again, we're just doing a light <clears throat> summer face, spring, summer, just quick and easy. It would have been quick and easy if I didn't mess up the warmth. All right, so just drawing it in. There we go. Make a little bit of a crease with, uh, let's see. I think I'll just use this pale color Romance. Keeping it very light. Just a light little crease for my hooded eye. Pulling it down in my pipe. Moving it over a little bit. Then I'm going to take the, the Bare Minerals Full Tapered Shadow Brush and I'm going right into the lower portion of my lid, halfway over, meeting up with that um, Romance color. With my e.l.f. brush, I'm going into the light pink 
color down here called Val. Wait a minute. Nope. Oh my goodness, I've had these all mixed up, I think. I When they do them backwards, it gets so good. Yep, I've had them backwards. Okay, this one was actually called Promise. The blue is Caviar and Cake, and now the pink is going to be Debutante. I never remember that they do those backwards. Okay, so I'm just brushing this up and over from the inner corner of my eye to lighten and brighten. And I am going back in with this brush. And I am going to use the white just up under my eyebrows. The white one is called, let's see, that one is called Curtsy, I guess. Yeah. We get a little bit of the Lash Domination Mascara on. Mascara is on. And now I'm just going to do my lips really quickly and then we'll finish up this little, well, it was supposed to be like a five minute summer face, but I kind of royally messed that up. This is the Mox, uh, yeah, the one you can't get anymore. Moxie Gloss in Juicy Mango. This was out such a short time. I've had it for quite a while, but when I bought it, uh, I don't recall it being out, jeez, I don't know, maybe just a couple of months. Probably because it's very, very faint in color. I don't know, though. I mean, it's a nice neutral, but it is a beautiful, where is, yeah, this way, sorry. Um, a beautiful peachy pink, just very light and happy and summer funny. I love this palette. It's very soft and delicate. I I thought that the bluish green color might look pretty with my sweater. And you know what? Any one of these colors in this palette, if you didn't want to do a combined eye, I'll have to do that. I'll have to do a one, one or two shadow look where it's just very pale and a little bit of shimmer along the bottom for brightening. Because that's what this palette is perfect for. It's just very, very soft uh, color tones. Let me see. Hoping you can see the... Um, the grayish purple with a little bit of green and then the little bit of pink just kind of blending it all together so uh okay all right that all over warmth that that kind of melted in a little bit i'm not i'm not looking so when i first put it on i just i part of that might have been a flush for my face because i got so scared <laughs> um the complexion rescue feels wonderful Oh my goodness, it does. It feels exactly like it says. It feels like a moisturizer with a slight tint of color. It's not looking makeup-y. Mm -mm. So if you apply a, a right the right amount, I think, because it is supposed to be sheer to medium coverage, if you're not glopping it on, it should work. I think there were some people that were having trouble. I don't even know where I saw it, but I, I think maybe it was right on the Bare Minerals site. I think they might have been a little bit too um, thinking of it as a foundation, and I think it's just meant to be a tinted sunblock moisturizer <laughs> complexion rescue but it's very very pretty oh i can see over here where the color changes from my ear i'll have to do something about that uh, okay well anyways i love bare minerals so every single thing that i use today if i had done it properly would be perfect um and again you can use the uh Posh Neutrals to create a lighter, faster face. And I really, I'm going to try. I'm going to try and do a five-minute summer face. Literally five minutes. I don't know if I'll succeed, but it'll be fun. Well, now that I know not to do that with the warmth. But this is another thing. The little, the um, Bare Skin Sheer Sun. Wowie zowie. Loving this. I think I may be purchasing this in a large size bottle. Uh, because there's only a teeny weeny little amount that came in here but what a natural see I well maybe because I'm so fair that this I liked a lot better than this but maybe in the summer if you don't even use anything and you just want to like tan your face up a teeny bit the warmth might be good for that I'll have to try that a day too and just see how that works out maybe because it was over top of the foundation it just kind of stuck a little bit more or the, because it was over the mineral veil too. I don't know. I'm trying to cut it some slack. Um, I fault the user, not the product. I'll have to try to vary it a few various ways. But this stuff was great. This is very natural looking, and I love that. 
Alrighty, so, uh, there's my, <clears throat> my version of a fast face. <laughs> Low maintenance face. But the true test of the complexion rescue so far is awesome. I will put below after the day is out. I am heading out into the heat and the sun. Well, heat, 64. Compared to 30, it's heat. Um, so I'll, I'll put down below how I, how I felt like it wore out through the day and um, survived, you know, the elements of sun and whatnot. It does have the sunscreen in it, so I'm, I'm loving that. Have a great day. I will see you guys soon, and I will definitely be checking back in to give a full review of this down below. Okay, so please remember to subscribe and to share my channel and give me a like. Hit the like thumbs up thingy if you liked it. Thank you. I will see you soon. Have a great day.